I'm Gunnar Jeanette here at the 2015 Monterey Historics and thanks to the Revs Institute for Automotive Research, I got to drive one of my absolute dream cars. I've been very fortunate in my racing career to drive many, many famous racing Porsches, several 917s, 935s, 962s, but the 9083 has always held a very special place in my heart. Uh, the reason for that it was a, a specialized car built by Porsche in 1970 and 71. They only actually made 13 of these cars. So they're, they're definitely one of the rarest race car that, that competed for the Porsche factory. They had a 75% win rate, which is pretty much unheard of. I mean, they were built specially for the Nürburgring and Targa Florio, two of the most challenging and demanding racing circuits ever built. The cars themselves only weighed 1,200 pounds. It's an aluminum space frame powered by a flat eight cylinder engine like the 908 Longtail and 908 Coke bottle and Flounder before it. But in this chassis, it was used to pretty devastating effect. Um, it won the Nürburgring and Targa Florio multiple times. And uh, it was one of the coolest and most successful racing cars that Porsche ever produced. The 9082s were already very, very lightweight cars. So to get this 9083 down to a dry weight of 1,200 pounds, they really had to do a lot of shaving off in areas. Uh, a very large use of titanium, and also the car itself is tiny. From a driving perspective, it's definitely not one of the safest cars that I've ever driven. And your feet are about a foot in front of the front axle. The pedal placement is actually right at the very front of the, the tire itself. So you wouldn't want to have a frontal impact 